So in my previous video, I have demonstrated creating the auto scaling groups, which give us both high availability as well as scalability. Now, how does it really work? That's exactly what I'm going to demonstrate here now. And if you observe the auto scaling group configuration, it has created these instances. These are the two instances that we have. And I'm going to simulate a situation where this instance is knocked off and then observe what happens and how does AWS handles it? How does the auto scaling group works? And this is my site, which is behind a load balancer. Since it is behind a load balancer, it should not really get affected because there is one instance running out of these two, even now. And that's a good thing. So this is why you need to build or architect for high availability with at least two instances so that even if one goes down, there's always another which is hosting your site and making it, you know, uh, available. Now, what I want to demonstrate here is how does the auto scaling group provides high availability. And if you observe here now, after a few minutes, if I look at the instance count, I see a new instance automatically being added. So even though I deleted one, I still see two instances. And if you observe, this instance has just been launched. It was initializing. And who created it? It is the auto scaling group. How do I know? You can go to auto scaling group and look at the configuration. Now it shows you three instances instead of original two. Why? Because it detected, it was monitoring for the instance availability detected. One is being terminated and it is already taking care of launching a new one. So it has just launched a new one and it is still draining the connections for the older one. And that's what you see happening here. And this is about the high availability that the auto scaling group gives you and the Amazon Web Services cloud platform gives you. And this is something quite difficult to achieve in a data center environment. And this is why cloud is important when you're talking about high availability, reliability, and one of the fundamental DevOps practice becomes using and leveraging all of these cloud you know, features as well as, uh, um, uh, you know, the availability and managed services uh, that cloud offers you. Now I've just started deleting everything, all my infrastructure, because I'm done with the demonstration. And it is also important to tear down this infrastructure. Now these instances are being managed by the auto scaling group. So I have to delete and that's what is happening now. It may take some time. So I have, if I have to delete the instances, I have to do it through auto scaling group, not directly, because if I delete the instance directly, it still comes back up. And then I would delete the database as well, which I had launched as part of the managed RDS service. And I don't need any snapshots or anything else. It asks me to confirm that I really want to delete this instance. And I have to acknowledge the check last third checkbox, the third checkbox, I have to select that. And then write delete me after that. So that it allows me to delete this RDS instance. So there I go. So uh, this instance is being deleted. And it is going to clean up everything. So with this video, and the series of videos, rather, I demonstrated how do you create infrastructure on cloud really quickly you can go live within within an hour of uh, or hour or so so all you need is an idea and executing it becomes very easy with cloud because you are you can go global create a global infrastructure with a few click of buttons and creating one account and then you can also create your infrastructure with high availability reliability that is what matters because once you start scaling and once you start getting real traffic uh, you want to ensure that your infrastructure stays up, stays live, and is always available. And that's what you could achieve with cloud very easily. And the best part about this is you're not spending anything uh, up front on the infrastructure. We're not talking about any capital expenses. All of this is operational expenses. All of this is pay as you go model. All right, so I've just cleaned up 
everything here and um, this concludes my demonstration of all the services creating it manually in the final one i'm going to show you how to create this automatically using a tool called as cloud formation